Well, the Holy Spirit tells me one morning, he says, David, you could never do what your dad has been called to do. And I said, thanks, Holy Ghost. I've been feeling kind of low, but, you know. <laughs> but oh he my said, gosh. and your dad could never do what you are called to do because you are equipped differently than him. I had to preach my first sermon at Potter's House a month after I got hired. Wow. I got hired in May. I had to preach in June in front of 25,000 people. I am literally almost disemboweled, right? Like I, <laughs> I all the boo-boo is out of my body without a colon cleanser. I am like, and the Holy Spirit said, I didn't bring you here to be him. I brought you here to be you. Tim, that's it. He said the same exact thing, bro. That's it. He has to reassure us that what we've been called to do and who we've been called to be yeah. is not a facsimile Ooh. of who we've been under. It ain't a carbon copy <sighs> of who we've been under. There is a unique skill set that he has divinely orchestrated and placed on the inside of us to add a different flavor profile, to give a different expression, even though your last name is still Winston. Mm -hmm. There is a different expression of next